Hey guys, uh, it's really lovely to be here with you all. Um, I'm getting a lot of insights about what I'm going through uh, regarding fragmentation and soul retrieval. And I know this video is going to be probably very esoteric, but it's what I feel like um, I'm being demanded to share. Like it's being demanded of me to share what I'm learning through this, um, like it's my duty. And, and so, yeah, I just want to, to give you guys some deeper insights to build on yesterday's video about how, when we're hanging on to something really, really tightly and we're refusing to let go something that's not true for us, that's not aligned with what our soul came here to do that's going to create so much pain in the body and and our soul's going to be screaming at us like we need to go this way we need to let go of that whether it's like a behavior a pattern a person whatever we need to let go of that like things get to a certain point where it just becomes like this explosive pain and you feel like you're going to implode if you don't let go of the the thing right and if you don't start moving in the in the direction of your soul's purpose and truth. Um, there comes this point in your system where you literally feel like you're going to explode. And what happens is things get so painful and you start to get so fragmented, like your system can literally kind of implode. Like you can just kind of feel like torn apart in a million pieces, right? Um, what actually happens and what I'm realizing is, you know, yesterday I was saying, I think a big chunk of me is still there. Through sitting with myself and sitting with the fragmentation, what I'm realizing is things got so painful in my body that a lot of my soul kind of just left the body for a while. It was like, okay, we're not going to, if we're not going to do the thing we came here to do, then what's the point? What's the point, you know, of even being here? Um, and so it's like a lot of our souls kind of will maybe leave the body for a little bit until a choice is made to continue back on our um, mission. Um, and I feel like that's what happened is like, I got so fragmented that, um, it's cause I was feeling into it. It's like not, I don't actually want to be back where I was. I don't want to be there at all. Um, cause I was feeling into that, like the video I shot last night and that felt so true in the moment. And this is how this happens is we have an insight. It feels true, but then that leads to a deeper, um, a, something even deeper that's even more true and it, it just that's kind of how unraveling and and the unfolding process looks it's like we just keep um, um coming into more and more contact with deeper and deeper truths that's why i feel like it's my duty to keep making these videos so that you guys can can keep following um my the journey and the discoveries i'm making and i can keep you updated on like hey actually now i'm feeling this is true so I was right about the part where, you know, I wasn't feeling like I had all of myself here, like all of my soul here. I was right about that. But the part that I kind of um, didn't understand was the soul, you, you could say it goes back to source, it to rest, it, it, you know, wherever you feel it goes back to. But the soul gets so fragmented. Um, and I think this is a lot of what happens in illness and people who... Um, like refuse to live out their mission in this life. Um, I think this is a ton of suffering. Ajasante has this beautiful quote that suffering is just us dragging our feet. It's like us refusing to let go. Um, and, and so I think this is a lot of what happens is when people feel, you know, like they don't have a lot of life force energy. Sometimes it's like, in some cases, it's like the soul's waiting for us to make the choice to to really start doing what we came here to do. Um, um, otherwise, it's like, you know, it there's no purpose for us to, for it to be here. There's like no value to it. It's like, hey, what, we're not doing the thing. We might as well go back to source and rest and re rejuvenate and then come back for another shot at it, right? So it's a, that is what I feel like happens a lot it is or it was happening to me quite frankly it's like a lot of my soul was just like look if we're gonna cling to this thing that we know is not in our highest that we know is 
is really not what we came here to do. Like, there's really no point for us all to be here. It's like, go ahead, do that as long as you need to. But, and I literally felt like I probably, not to be overly dramatic, but like, death, I'm getting chills saying it. It's kind of creepy, but like, this this is just where these videos are going, guys. I mean, it just is what it is. Um, I feel like if we hang on to those things long enough, it literally will will suck the life out of us, literally. Like, I was literally feeling like I was dying there. And it had to get so extreme for me to let go. And sometimes things have to get that extreme and that painful before we do let go, unfortunately, because letting go into the unknown is so scary. And we're hanging on to those things because we perceive them as safe. We perceive them as that's where our, our safety is and security is. But actually, guys, let me tell you, after letting go and surrendering into my life's mission again, being in alignment with your life's mission is where safety is. I feel safer now than I have in a long time. And I'm, I'm very much in the unknown. Um, but I feel more abundant now. I feel um, just more like supported by spirit and by source than I ever have. Like I have a direct channel to source again, like that I haven't had it since the last time I was serving this deeply. Um, um, since the last time I was this aligned with my soul mission. And so, and I think making these videos and explaining my process is part of my soul reintegration process, is part of my soul retrieval process of those fragmented parts of my soul that just said, all right, this is crazy. I don't know, get back to us when you're back on your mission, right? Then that's when we'll return. I think it's those parts of me, like this making these videos is, is is a part of the process of those aspects of me coming back into my field and coming back into um my being so to speak and so yeah it's been a really fascinating process it's been i know it's super esoteric and this is stuff i usually don't talk about but this is real this is what's happening to me and i always just share about what's happening to me and yeah i've been feeling you know as i stay on my soul's mission i'm feeling like more and more of these aspects of myself are like you here's a like an analogy you could say is like they're starting to trust again like okay now we're doing the thing we came here to do and it's like okay they want to come be a part of that they're like cool let's go back into the body and be a part of that because that's what we want to do whereas before when i was clinging to something that just was way off track and just really not true they're like we don't even we don't need to be here doing this because we've done this a million times let's just go back to source and rest and maybe you know this this, the human, the whatever, the body will make a choice to align with our soul mission again in this lifetime. And in that case, we'll come back down and, and integrate. But it's like those parts, they weren't, they're not willing to come back down again unless we're doing the soul mission. So the more that I'm able to just really keep um, staying on track with my soul mission, the more I'm going to feel integrated, the more I'm going to feel more of myself start um, filling up my field again and the more I'm going to feel just full and like fully integrated. And so know that if, if you're feeling really fragmented, if you're feeling like your soul is like, you know, you're needing soul retrieval, know that your soul came here for a purpose. And if we're not living our purpose, if we're not fulfilling our mission, um, aspects of our soul are just going to be like, what's the point, you know, um, and they might, they're going to be like, we'll wait for you in this lifetime or the next or the next, but, but they're ready to, to experience something, um, that they came here to experience, um, that's, uh, going to be, um, you know, um, rich for them that, that really, um, if we're not, if we're not doing that thing, we can start to feel those parts fragment. And so, as you can tell, this is pretty new to me, um, but I just wanted to share that, that sometimes, um, you know, like, it's not necessarily that, like, for me, I'm realizing it's not that I want that old thing anymore. I'm realizing, oh, I don't want that even at, at all. Um, it's just that, you know, things in our body can get so painful that some of the soul will leave. And then eventually the body will just die um, if we're, if we stay you know, in misalignment long enough. And you can hear stories about this um, in a lot of teachings. Eckhart Tolle talks about it, where if he didn't move to the west coast of, of North America, um, meaning California and Canada in that area, that he feels like he would have died because the impulse was so strong. The pull was so strong. 
And another way of saying that is just he would have got so fragmented that literally his soul would have left his body. You know what I mean? And I was literally starting to feel that, like I was getting so split, split. And, and I actually, I, I could feel how my soul was already, a lot of my soul was already at this place where I'm at now before I got here. Like it left my body when it, when it became clear I needed to come here, but I was still refusing. Like a lot of my soul like left my body and came here. <laughs> and I was like feeling like this empty shell in my body. It was really kind of creepy and eerie. And then I got, and then I decided like, oh, I have to come here now. This is like a real, this is like, I'm getting so many chills as I say this. Like, this is like a fucking, this is not fucking around. Like my soul's not fucking around. And so I, I came here and then I instantly started to, started to feel way more integrated. I got like tons of sessions, like almost immediately. Just a lot of things happened like really fast. Um, and I just felt like this reorientation and this deep realignment take hold. And I think ever since then, it's just been like this process of slowly allowing more and more of myself um, to make the journey back to me to, for that more and more, like for those parts to more and more trust, like, oh shit, okay, we're on mission again. We're on purpose again. There's a fucking reason to be here in this body again. I'm getting chill. This whole video is just uh, freaking chills. And so, yeah, it's really cool. It's like um, just allowing all of myself to come back to me as I stay on mission, as I stay um, in alignment with my purpose in this life. And um, yeah, it's feeling really good. And I just, I just need to share this stuff because it feels like it needs to be known. And I think it could help a lot of you who are going through really fragmented periods, who are being torn apart, who are refusing to let go of something that you think is keeping you safe and secure. I promise you that's not keeping you safe and secure. It's doing the opposite. It's actually draining you of your life force. It's scarcity. It's lack. When you let go into the unknown, you're going to find more of yourself there, more of your soul there, abundance there, alignment there. You're going to find the universe supporting you there. There's a reason you're being pulled there. You have to trust that pull and you have to let go of the pull of the conditioned, scared programming of the egoic programming. Um, and you will start to feel more alive, more connected, more healthy. Um, you'll feel this process start to really... Um, become something that's more of an integrated and, you know, um, enjoyable experience. So that's the video today. I hope it's helpful. I am posting a really good uh, Patreon Q&A video today. It should be coming out right around when this video is posting. So look for that. Um, I also have a lot of other uh, awesome Patreon videos that have been coming through um, and that is a community where there are exclusive, where there is exclusive content for you guys. So if you're inspired to support, to support this work in that way, I will put a link below. Um, there's also donation links and, um, booking a session with me links, um, in the description box. Um, and so any of those ways are awesome to support the channel. Other than that, thanks for supporting the channel just by being here, just by liking this video, subscribing. Um, it really means a lot to me. Like I said, I hope that this video offered you guys some insight and some support for your own journeys. So much love. See you in the next video. Namaste.